Physical therapy research from the Netherlands and Sweden has signalled a breakthrough for measuring cardiovascular fitness in young people with cerebral palsy. Scientists led by Arnold Edelman Boss at Amsterdam University have found a way of monitoring physiological responses in patients who find it difficult to use standard tests like treadmills and exercise bikes. Face masks and backpack monitors check breathing and heart rate while the young person being tested races along for six minutes on a frame runner. So a frame runner, runner is a uh, it's a device with three wheels. Uh, it has no you don't cycle with it, but you walk with it. And it has a saddle and a chest plate. And uh, on the saddle and the chest plate, you will have around 70% of your body weight. So there's only 30%, around 30% of body weight on the, uh, on the, on the uh, legs. So it's uh, much easier to walk if you can't walk yourself. Right, so it's like a tricycle, but it doesn't have pedals. You have yes. to push it with your feet, yes. Yeah, the, the special thing about frame running is that it's able to uh, have uh, people with even GMFCS levels 3 and 4, so the severe disabled, uh, more severe disabled people. Uh, to run an exercise at high intensity as well, and that's totally new. So uh, on a cycle or a treadmill, they aren't able to uh, do an exercise test. And uh, we saw in uh, earlier research of uh, Eli Elina Bolster that they reached very high heart rates. And after that, we thought, okay, what happens with other physiological responses like aerobic capacity uh, during that test? And, and that's why we started to uh, uh, investigate it. Uh, we had 13 uh, participants uh, who have a GMFCS level 4, and that's really special. Uh, and uh, the nice thing that we found is that they uh, were also reaching very high physiological responses during the test. Yeah. But they like it, and it's not a problem. And that's also nice to see, that they are able to uh, run for six minutes at their highest intensity and have a heart rate above 180 for six minutes long. Uh, and they're still going on. So what would you say are the clinical implications of this sort of work and the new data that you've established? Uh, now we do find and we get some results about their aerobic capacity. And if we look at that, it's uh, even more important because uh, they have very low uh, uh, physical fitness. Uh, we, we found that in the, uh, with this research and there's more research about it, but now in the first time about the GMFCS force as well. Uh, so uh, exercising is uh, really important for them. We found that 75% of the participants reached the near maximal aerobic capacity. So with this very simple and short test, uh, you could, uh, yeah, it's a very nice test to tell something about their physical fitness. Uh, the outcome is uh, the distance they walk, but now we could also say it's maybe a near maximal exercise test. Uh, so, so that's very important. Use this test to uh, see if people improve their physical fitness uh, during training uh, uh, with, with a pediatric physical therapist or just on, a, on an athletic track.